okay hello everyone victor momo from excel moments and in this video i want to show how to use you know hyperlinks to dynamically navigate to cells that meet certain criteria for emphasis i would say i want to be able to dynamically navigate to the cell that has the maximum value in a numeric column or maybe the minimum value so how do i achieve that you already know one part of the answer which is that i'm going to use hyperlinks but how you know do i fuse everything together to make it work so i'm going to lay you know some proper background so that you understand you know where i'm headed and finally you know i'll pull up the solution so if you want to create a hyperlink you know in excel there are two ways to do it you're either using the function or the feature okay function is writing equals to hyperlink and then feature is like doing a control k or going to insert and links so let's say i want to go to sheet one and then cell b7 so whenever i click that link it should take me to cell b7 on sheet one so do okay all right so let's click this so you see that it brings you to sheet one and b7 if you want to get back to where you were just use alt and the left arrow so alt and left arrow is like saying take me back so it brings you here that's one way there's a second way but let me keep that in my hip pocket for now so now that i see this expression sheet one you know b7 i'm like okay i can replicate this with the hyperlink function so i can do hyperlink when it asks me for link location, I may just go to that B7, you know, just say B7, okay, so that's B7. Then the next thing it wants is what do you want to see in the cell? I may just say go to location, that's what I want to see as a text in the cell, all right? So I'm like, I'm done. So let's click this. We want to achieve the same thing. Click, nothing seems to happen. I'm like, okay, uh, what's happening here? Do I need to maybe change? You know the expression here rather than having it as you know a reference maybe make it text maybe that's the issue so i put a double quote here i put a double quote at the end of seven right let's try now okay we've made some progress now we are at least able to click and it's attempting to do something but it's saying cannot open the specified file you know what's happening here i can't lay the full background here but this is what you need to know what it's expecting us to do is to put the fully qualified parts in the formula expression that we have here right so what i mean is that for you to get to a cell right that cell is going to be sitting in a workbook and in a worksheet in terms of the hierarchy and the cell so what he wants to see here like this you know first of all maybe even having the full part leading up to the workbook then going to the sheet and then going to the cell but if you don't want to do that which of course the formula is not going to look elegant there's a shortcut to making that work and that shortcut is the pound sign or the hash sign so most people know the hash sign using it with spewed arrays but you can use it here too so what you just do is just precede you know the address with the hash this hash basically says i'm referencing this workbook right so this is going to read as this workbook look for sheet one and look for b7 if you take out the sheet one you know then it's more or less like saying okay i'm referencing this workbook since you didn't give me a sheet i'm going to use this sheet and then b7 so let's go in first and see so now when i click and i do go to location it brings me right here okay so it also means that if i take out sheet one you know that part and just do hash b7 what do you expect it to do it's going to go to b7 on this sheet right okay so good so now we've achieved that at least we now kind of get how we can make it work with the hyperlink function using you know the pound sign so let's now try to figure out how to do you know the maximum and the minimum so the first question is how do you get you know the maximum let's say in this amount column that's simple right you can just use max of the amount column and you will know the value but now you're interested in the location right where it is because if you look at the construct we had there you need hash and you need the address once you have those two come together you know then you can navigate to it so now how do you get the address of the cell that is a maximum there are many ways to get that maximum value but if you get the maximum value you need something that can return you know the address that's why you may have two options you may either use the index function or the xlookup function why because both of those functions return references right not values references i explain this in more details in some of my other videos but let's use maybe an xlookup for example to find you know the location but we'll start up by just doing an x lookup we're looking for the maximum so that's our lookup value maximum value in you know in the um in the amount column now it says where are you looking it up well in the same amount column 
this one feels repetitive to me which is why i may prefer an index and an x match and then it says what do you want to return i say i want to return the same thing okay so close the bracket so that's everything look for the maximum within the amount column return the amount column okay so now it gives us the maximum value which is what 99.91 now it looks to you like yes xlookup has returned the value but indeed xlookup has returned a reference but because i put an equal to sign here that's the reason why it's giving me the value in that reference so if i use any function that can you know trap something from a reference then i'll be able to get you know what i need so i know that there are two functions if i want to get maybe the address of any cell in excel i can use the address function or i can use the cell function so let me use the cell function and show you something so i can say cell and within cell you can see the options it has it has address right okay i just feel like typing it and what this will mean is that cell give me the address of whatever you have in front here but it doesn't seem like it makes sense because when we did this X lookup, what did we get? This X lookup was giving us what? 99.91. So how is this going to work? So let's see. Press enter. At the moment you press enter, see what it does. It gives you a reference. It's saying E934. So wherever E934 is, is where the maximum value occurs. And once you have this, you know, your hyperlink is pretty much sorted. Correct? Why? Because how does this work? What we need is we need a hyperlink function. This cell thing has given us, you know, the reference, but don't forget we need to put a what? A pound sign before it. So I'm going to put what? A pound sign concatenated together. So if the address is E7, this will read pound E7, you know, like we started up with. Then at the end of the day, what we just need here, if you will follow your two tip is friendly name. So maybe I may just call this, you know, max value. That's what you will see in the cell. You know, I could decide to put that or I could even decide to put the value itself in there. All right. So let's do enter. So now once you have this, if you click this, this should take you straight to the cell that is the maximum in the amount column. So let's do this. And you see automatically it takes you to that value 99.91. Alt and left arrow will bring you back. So let me assume I change this here. I make this value 100.23. This is now the maximum value because this is a dynamic function. You know, when I click this now, what happens? You see it brings me right here to the new maximum and that's how it works of course if you want to get the minimum you don't need to do anything special right <laughs> just come in here put the same expression and you're just going to change what max you know to mean right and now this one will take you to the minimum value okay i need to change my uh text to mean value so let's go and see let's click the mean value right and that brings me here 1.27 that's where it is and that's the minimum value so that's how you create you know some dynamic navigation using the hyperlink function difficult to achieve that with the hyperlink feature itself control k right because this one is static but because this is a formula you know formulas of course are dynamic they change as you know maybe input changes so once the maximum value changes you know this would always take you to that maximum value and because you are using a table reference as well if more values are added to the table you know it would always still find the maximum value within that table as opposed to if you had normal references a1 to a hundred you know and then you have to create a longer range just to accommodate you know future values that will be put in so that's what i thought to show in this video i hope you like it and you may find you know some interesting uses for it rather than scrolling to look for the maximum or doing a filter you know just have it here click go alt back arrow and you're back so i trust that you've enjoyed this video if you did you know please hit the like button and you can also subscribe to the channel please do subscribe you know to the channel for now i'm out